what's good youtube i'm back with a new video on the channel for today's video we have the i'm going to be predicting what will happen in the misfits and the zone series two of the cards now yes if you don't already know what misfits is you live it under a rock it's basically ksi's promotion teams and man taylor's promotions team um and they used to work on it pretty much and uh yeah it's a great event and uh, yeah, I'm going to be discussing about the card, who's going to win, and etc. If you're doing good, enjoy this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and the fight is tomorrow. So, our best story up. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Alright, guys, starting off with Anthony Taylor versus Ashley Raksu. Now, Anthony Taylor has fought um, Tommy Fury, and he used Jake Paul's sparring partner, um, and he also fought Ryan Taylor as well. Um, so he's experienced in that ring, but actually Raxo, I don't think he's actually experienced in the ring. So we're gonna have to go with Anthony Taylor for this one, just because due to experiences and also what I've seen from both fighters. Um, and uh, yeah, I think Anthony Taylor will take the W on the night. Um, yeah, all the predictions I make are my opinion. If you guys have your opinion, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, let's get on to the second. And uh, next we have Lal Ham versus DT Cheek. Ham's obviously gone through a lot of B cancer. Congratulations, my brother. Um, that's mad. Um, obviously, you know, DT is a rapper. He's used to the booth. He's used to the studio. You know, Halal Ham's used to the training. Because um, he did it back in the day when it was KSI versus Joe Weller. He did it when all this started. So I'm going to have to go for Lal Ham. Um, just because due to experiences like the other fight I mentioned a minute ago and also I think DTG may be able to get on points if he if it goes the whole way but I think if it stops I think it will be a hell of a getting the W so yeah that's my prediction I mean it's yours let's go on to the third right next thing you know we have Astrid Wet <laughs> um, has only just started boxing as I believe Astrid Wert started boxing this summer, so it's not really been that long for either of them. Um, Astrid Wert's had more time to train. Um, Keely, I've only seen her train in the media workout, so she looked not too bad, but anyone can look good on pads. Um, so did Astrid Wert, she looked pretty decent. Um, but due to experience, again, we're gonna have to go for Astrid Wert. But I do feel like Keely might win on points. If it, I, th I feel like it won't go the whole way as well. So I, I, I'm going to go for Keely. I'm going to go for Keely. Um, but I think the videos we've been seeing online with Astrid has been a bit fake. Um, I think she's better than what she's showing. So yeah, um, that's my prediction for fight three. Let's go on to the next. I have to miss out on the Tom Zanetti fight just because it's been cancelled and called up. So I'm not going to predict that fight. Um, so yeah. That's why I'm not predicting that one if you didn't already know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get into the other one, which is Slim versus Ryan Taylor. Slim is winning. I'm sorry to say it, Slim is winning by knockout in round two. Just because I feel like Slim's got more heart. Um, but what he said in interviews, don't get me wrong, Ryan Taylor looks focused, and that's good. For a boxer, to, you need to be focused, ready for the fight, not going on social media, chatting all this stuff about it, your opponent and stuff. Like, on that, let's just get to the fighting. And I think that's what Ryan Taylor's done well with this, but I do feel like Slim's just a better boxer. You know, all the big boxers, like, all the big, like, YouTuber boxers, kids, I says, oh yeah, Slim's like top five. Soul Pappy says he's top five, you know, and it's on Gibbs says he's top five. So, that's why I feel like Slim will win on the night. And uh, yeah, but I think it'll be an amazing fight. And uh, yeah, let me get into the next fight. JMX versus Ginty. Now, JMX is finally getting back in the ring. Um, and I think he's going to look really impressive this fight. Um, I think Ginty, in his last fight against Kingpin, uh, on the Kingpin card, he didn't look too good. Um, just because his opponent won't really want to fight. It was a good brawl, but at the same time, Ginty looked like a dessert to win. So, he looked good in the night on that front, but, you know, I don't know. JMX and the guy Ginty fought 
two different fighters. Um, JMX did it back in the day when it first started, like um, Halal Ham. So uh, yeah, I might have to give it to JMX just because he just seems more ready. Ginty looked more, a bit more nervous, but he doesn't bound to be nervous on like a big card like this. And uh, yeah, that's how I think I'll win JMX on points or knockout. So yeah, let me get on to the main event. That versus Churdley's. Now Churdley's is just taking this way too as much as a joke. Jay Swingler looks ready. He wants to be back up there in the YouTube scene. He's wanting it. You know, even Churdley's is like, no, I'm not even winning at this point. So I'm going to give it to Jay Swingler and he's going to win in the first round. Knockout. Yes. Jay Swingler is going to knock him out. And uh, yeah. That's my prediction for that fight. Um, decent card, stacked card, but I'm looking forward to the next card next year in January, seeing who will be on it. Like KSI, local pool will be both on it, which is amazing. Thank you all for watching, and uh, yeah, let me know your predictions. Peace out.